Hello Helldiver and welcome to another Helldivers 2 news video. We completed the major order which was not expected and was an awesome surprise. Twinbeard confirmed the studio is growing larger showing us that they realize they need to push this pedal to the metal. New stratagems are closing in on us. The community has started showing its lack of patience and bot evac missions are going to get a nerf soon and that's a good thing. But before we get into that make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Now let's go! This is the first defense campaign we've managed to win and it feels absolutely incredible. The Major Order won. Freedom has overcome oppression once more. Even the combined might of the Terminates and Automatons was no match for the fierce and obedient resistance of the Helldivers. Though some ground was lost, our enemies are exhausted. Their assault broken upon the immovable shield wall of the Helldivers. The fight is far from over, but the light of liberty shines bright over the worlds of the Federation today. And I gotta be honest guys, I had no idea we would be able to push through this one. It was almost impossible. It seemed like it was not going to happen. But the community rallied and got it done. And this is why I love this freaking game. I've been waiting patiently to record this audio because I was just sure a new major order was going to come in before I do so, but apparently that's not the case. And knowing my luck, a new ammo will come out right as I drop this video, so maybe I'll jinx this in a good way. But in this moment of not having an order for the community, I realized how fun the game is when everything is completed, at least at the current point. Now you can just go out and do anything and that feels oddly freeing. I'm farming samples on defend missions, what are you guys doing? Tell me about it in the comments. Okay, so finally something happened as planned, while I was recording this, the new major order was finally released. It's a legitimate undertaking, phase 1 citizen rescue. Intel has identified surviving citizens on two planets, on Kuhi, citizens who have proved their loyalty through testing of a new fortification stratagem are trapped. On Penta, citizens who have synthesized tons of caustic chemicals for a new support weapon stratagem are awaiting rescue. Likely, only the citizens and weaponry on the first planet liberated will be saved. We have 3 days to complete this and in order to do so we need to liberate a couple more planets to open up the supply lines. To get Kuhi we need to liberate Menkent which is currently sitting at 38.1% as of the recording of this video. And to liberate Penta we need to first liberate Lesath which currently has a much lower percentage of liberation of 18.8. So Helldivers obviously you need to go for Lesath and then Penta. A new support weapon would be dope to have and that's the only thing I'm interested in at the moment. They even unveiled that the stratagems are going to be the MD-17 anti-tank mines or the RL-77 airburst rocket launcher. And you probably have seen the leaks of the airburst rocket launcher and it looks absolutely incredible so yeah, we need to grab that. And especially considering mines are pretty much useless most of the time, yeah, I think we should get the airburst rocket launcher. What do you guys think? Shout off in the comments below. The rest of the video was pretty much complete before the major order was dropped, so I'm sorry for the slight bit of inconsistency. But at least I'm bringing you the news in a timely fashion. Next up, we have pretty much a confirmation from Twinbeard that the studio has been growing larger. It was a response to this. We appreciate yours and the team's diligence. We know it cannot be easy to have this many screeching apes aimed at you guys. But please tell them to start hiring big time, lol, it's been painfully clear the game has outgrown the team. And in his reply to Twinbeard response, it's actually almost the reverse, the game had outgrown us but we're starting to catch up, slowly but steadily, we're hiring more people, nailing new processes down, etc. We've been and are still in many ways playing catch up for 2 months after the initial veritable onslaught success, but now we're slowly slowly getting there. It will take time for sure, but we'll get there. And this is something I talked about in one of my previous videos, I did mention that the studio does need to grow in size in order to keep up with the demand for this game. It's a ridiculously huge game and I'm super excited to see that we finally got some confirmation that they're increasing the size of the studio, which was something that was very much needed. If it does keep up with its current pace, a game of the year award would be absolutely in the back for Arrowhead Studios, so they're at a crossroads, they can either mess this up or they can win very big. And I'm back to one of my points from my previous video, if Arrowhead pull this off, they get a bigger studio, they make the game even bigger and even better, 
they will just prove the gaming industry that this is the correct way to do a live service game. The live service model has been garbage here ever since its inception and I am so incredibly happy that we might finally see some positive change in this regard. Arrowhead, right now you are the light and we are at the end of the tunnel so make sure you do not fumble this moment. I am absolutely rooting for you guys. And the Helldivers 2 Twitter account recently shared a tweet which was very interesting pretty much two stratagem codes we have not seen in the game and the meme with the guy and the two red buttons. It's kind of a voting system so make sure you go to their twitter and vote for which stratagem code are you more interested to see in game. Whatever the case may be I am absolutely 100% sure that a little after I drop this video we are going to get one of these stratagems in the game but hey that's life I guess. Next up a little bit on patches. One person in the discord said I was surprised there wasn't a patch. And Evil Bossy replied with, we still cooking. And if you're subscribed to my channel, you should know from my previous video that one of the builds in the Steam database for Helldivers 2 was updated very recently, so a patch is most likely coming very, very soon indeed. Next up, another reply from Evil Bossy when talking about patches for the game. We have fixed an S ton of crash causes, and I don't know which ones people are hammering on at the moment. This pretty much confirms that the Arrowhead Studio is working on patching the game pretty much constantly, and I been told you this since at least a couple of weeks at this point. Just give them a little time to stabilize everything. Plus now that they are hiring extra people I am sure more patches will be coming more often and of course maybe even more content we are about to find out. And while we are on that subject Evil Bossy did reply to a couple of more people in the discord asking why hasn't there been a new patch recently. First up a reply to a person saying that there wasn't an introduction to any new item in the most recent bug fix and Evil Bossy goes it was quite a large bug fix. Last content was on the 11th, so that's 12 days ago. At this point, it's a day over two weeks, but Evil Bossy's point still stands. Let's think about this. Most live service games, maybe you're lucky if you get one update per month. New content? Uh, that can take a couple of months, usually. Personally, I think the flow of new content and new updates has been very consistent, and if it stays this way, the game will just keep improving at a rapid pace. Not only this, but we've been getting a ton of surprises in the game, things we did not expect we would get and this is just something I'm loving at the moment. And Evil Bossy seems to agree as he replies to Sukuyomi, no new items after two weeks and today not even a bug fix. Evil Bossy says, last patch was a week ago, one week is not a very long time. And while I'm loving to see the excitement in everybody, guys, come on, it's been a week, just chill out, man, please. Devs are not some magical robots or wizards who can just say skibbity bop boop, it's fixed. Every problem needs to first be investigated, then a solution needs to be figured out for it, then it needs to be implemented correctly before it's actually pushed to the game, and that's quite a lot of steps. So just be patient, be understanding and be be a good freaking human being. Next up, some interesting messages from Twinbeard. We've picked up rumors in the outer rim saying something is coming. We have, however, neither been able to confirm or deny them, but we keep monitoring the space. And that's just the HR voice of I want to keep you interested, but I don't want to actually tell you what you're going to be interested in. And I'm honestly fine with that. I mean, at the end of the day, they cannot just tell us, yeah, this is coming in eight days. But since there have been a lot of leaks about the Illuminate recently, people started thinking maybe the this is about them and Twinbeard said, I don't want to sound boring or anything but I was responding to a question if there could be a patch coming. Something coming didn't allude to anything in particular this time. Also I think we could use some much needed rest now to be honest. And I have to agree with him, the last couple of major orders have been hell to get through so maybe it's time for us to finally get a nice chill weekend. And if I have to be honest on when I think the Illuminate are coming, I believe this will be in about two weeks, at least from what I've been seeing in the game and what I've seen in previous leaks and whatnot. And kinda spoilery, so this is your spoiler warning, but first we need to attack Cyberstan and then we need to take care of the bugs with the TCS again, which will lead to the Illuminate coming because we use another weapon and all of that stuff, so yeah, it's gonna take a little bit more time for them to actually arrive. So the best thing to do right now is to complete this new major order, make sure we get the support weapon stratagem because that's the most interesting option we could get, and yeah, play the game Helldiver. And to finish this video off, we have another post from Twinbeard up in the Discord. To all of you offering feedback on how the bot citizen evac missions are bad word impossible, on higher difficulty levels we agree 100% 
and will therefore adjust these in the near future. And look, I cannot agree more and this is a change I cannot wait for because I be playing evac missions against the terminates since this is the best way for you to farm samples but against the bots these are simply im freaking possible man so i'll be super happy to see them tuned in the near future but that was about it for the video guys i hope you really liked it if you did make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one